Yes, I am Jay Dwayne Garnett. I am the co-founder of Love is a Parable. That's an organization that my wife and I started in June of 2017. Initially, it started out with a simple thing that we wanted to do is just show random acts of kindness. Writing the second book, um, I have a few books out now, but writing the second book that I thought was going to be the second book ended up being the first book of what we um, now have as the Love is a Parable training curriculum. It shows people how to identify and how to love. It shows them how to identify love and how to love themselves and also one another. And before you knew it, we are <laughs> doing workshops throughout um, North Carolina and then it later, later spread to the US um, is our sacred box theory. And that ended up being one of the conversations so much that we just released our second training manual that really dives into it. Our first training manual is called IFAPA, um, being open to love. And it is a reflection training manual. And the second one is called ampersands and commas. Love is communicating. I want to show people how to identify love, but then also how to recognize when it's communicating to us and how to be on both sides of that. Yeah. So when I started talking about the sacred box, thing, so it's safe to assume that foundationally something happened in your childhood that introduced this to you. Oh, yes. Yeah. And from thinking about right now, Nikki, is our sacred box. Meaning we all have things that we value. Yeah. The interesting thing about it is a lot of us don't know what we value, but we know how to protect what we value. Oh, yeah. So yeah. what we're doing is helping people peel back those layers and say, OK, we're helping them uncover what they value and know that they value them because this is important for you. The reason in this world, we have been conditioned to tell or feel like we have to disclose. You don't have to disclose the things that you value, but you do have a responsibility to yourself to know what you value and why you value them. These values are so important because these values shape who we are. Our mm -hmm. concept of space mm -hmm. are the things that we value. Yeah. If I don't know who I value, I in turn have an identity crisis. We have been conditioned to feel like we're guilty because we have values. No, yeah. having values make you a person, not being mm -hmm. able to recognize them can make you a damaging person. So we don't want you to damage anybody. We want you to know what they are. And then the right. next layer to that is, as I develop my concept of self, there mm -hmm. is an organic self, which mm -hmm. is, my self-image, and then there is an ideal self. If these are in conflict, it affects my self-esteem. Yes. yes. So my confidence goes down. Yes. The more that they are balanced, the higher mm -hmm. the confidence. So true. That's important because we make expectations based on our self-esteem. True. We do. We do. The more the self-esteem, the higher the expectations, the more expectations we have because expectations are designed to protect us. Mm. So, you're now. Now you're <laughs> so through Love yeah. is a Parable, yeah. we actually help people uncover through the reflective thinking, the things right. that they value and why they value them and help them peel back those layers. Once they peel back their, those layers, they will identify at the core of who they are is love. Yeah. Once they understand the core of who they are, they will in turn see the same thing in others. Take people on a journey to rediscover and reconnect with them. Because truth be told, throughout life, we have been conditioned to not hear ourselves, to not believe in ourselves, um, yeah. to not even know what our voice is like. Think about it. For the first two years, we are telling our children no. Mm -hmm. We're saying this to protect them and to give them the guidance that they need not realizing that we're also programming them and conditioning them to not hear their voice, to not trust their instinct. So true. So guess so what happens at 18, 19 years old? We go on this weird journey of trying to find our voice, mm -hmm. but our inner voice sounds so much like our community, our village, that it's hard for us to make key decisions. So we want people 
to return to them, which is returning to love so that mm -hmm. they can see the things that we share with others. Yeah. Okay? Peel back those layers and help people um, mm -hmm. uncover and rediscover love. That is so awesome. It, I mean, um, you know, it's a very, very important area that, um, you know, oftentimes we don't peel back those layers on. Um, and oftentimes when you don't peel back those layers and get to the root, you're just only skimming when you're, um, you know, looking for solutions. So um, I'm very, very interested. I will be definitely reaching out um, for more information. Um, I, I have done, you know, a, a lot of peeling back myself, but, you know, what you're saying, it makes so much sense, um, you know, in understanding that, that, or, you know, that we are, we are Yah's royalty. We are kings and queens. So, you know, I do see you as a king. So it just kind of goes back to what you're saying as, you know, seeing, you know, our expectations. Um, and that is important. I do feel like once we, many more of us peel back those layers, get down to the root, um, we will have, you know, the tools that we need, the knowledge that we need and be equipped um, to love each other um, as we should and to be able to come together and unify. As I definitely agree. Um, and I just end that with um, love is like, Instruction is light, guidance is light, truth is mm. light, wisdom is light. Whenever light is present, darkness yes. cannot exist. Exactly. So it's not our responsibility to call out darkness, it's just our responsibility to be the light. If you be the light, there will not be any darkness. Darkness cannot coexist with light. So true. Darkness is literally the absence of light. So it's the yes. absence of love, it's the absence of knowledge, it's the absence. <laughs> of order is the absence of these things and so whenever you're present so some people don't realize you may be a low light but that doesn't mean you're darkness. right you may be a little dim and your flame may flicker a little bit but guess what as long as that thing is going there is still hope within you there's still light within you and you can still shine and we just want to help people shine